Good morning. Welcome back. We're still in 1 Samuel. We're mo moving towards the end. 1 Samuel 25 today, verses 32 to 35. Then David said to Abigail, Blessed is the Lord God of Israel, who sent you this day to meet me. And blessed is your advice, and blessed are you, because you have kept me this day from coming to bloodshed and from avenging myself with my own hand. For indeed, as the Lord God of Israel lives, who has kept me back from hurting you, unless you had hurried and come to meet me, surely by morning light, no males would have been left to Nabal. So David received from her hand what she had brought him and said to her, Go up in peace to your house. See, I have heeded your voice and respected your person. So now we hear David's response. And how could he have done anything but that? I mean, she really uh, gave him uh, the remarkable response. There's three blessings David utters right here. First of all, a blessing for God, and then two for Abigail. And he says, you have kept me this day from coming to bloodshed. And he is so glad that has happened. So God did work through her. She was God's agent. And it was David's intention, we see here quite clearly, to kill all the males. He was going to slaughter all of Nabal's servants, including Nabal. Nabal was up, and Nabal's on the list too. So they are all spared because Abigail takes responsibility for their wickedness and instead gives gifts to David and seeks for peace. What, what a precious appeal she's made and what honest response from David. A little bit raw, but kind of an honest response here. So David, all the fight goes out of him here. He's not really looking for a fight. And so David is following up. She sought for peace. David, David gives her peace. And so a beautiful uh, situation. David received from her hand the gift and promises her, go up, to your, go up in your house. I think this last thing that David says is interesting. I have heeded your voice and I have respected your person. She really put everything on the line. And David accepts that. And a lot of times we don't treat each other much this way. We don't treat each other with respect. Respect seems to be an old thing, like we're forgetting how to have respect toward ourselves and toward others. David knew it. Abigail understood it. God, of course, always understands it. But in our generation, there's a strange lack of respect for each other. He hears her out, lets her complete her sentence, doesn't interrupt her. He lets her get the whole thing out. And then he responds to the appeal for peace with a response of peace. When somebody comes to you and appeals to you for peace, your response, you really need to seek the Lord, but most of the time it's going to be your response should be to respond as a person of peace. Let's pray together. Dear Father in heaven, we understand that Jesus is the Prince of Peace. And when we see the example of Abigail here, we understand it better, don't we? Thank you for uh, this example. Thank you for David's response, a response uh, with grace and forgiveness. Now we ask, Lord, that you'll help us to take opportunities for peace. Take them seriously. Help us to respect other people. Help us to hear them out. Give them a chance. Give them an opportunity and to treat them right in response, even when they have treated us wrongly. Now, Lord, be our leader, we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. God be with you today for a day of peace.